Let's do this. Alright, let's see what we can get from uh, Arania. That statue looks incredible. Azura Star! I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Bro, I don't like the way she said that. I feel like I'm kind of a jerk. If I really listen to this guy's uh, warning. And I still give it to them. Like I have to be an idiot, right? I have to be an absolute idiot to do that. I understand. Speaking to a goddess is overwhelming for many. Return when you're prepared. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. All right. So just so understanding, I'll give it to you. And receive her wisdom. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands... Oh, of course she wants to speak to me and not you. You didn't do anything. You've just been standing here useless this whole time. All right. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malin Varen. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion, but I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me. Bro, they're really making me out to be some ruthless type of guy. Like, I, like, I'd have to be really ruthless to listen to that warning and then banish him from the store after, after all of his hard work. Man. Alright, I guess I'll be a, I guess I'll be the brutal dragonborn warrior. I mean, because we're all striving for eternity, right? I need that, uh, infinite charge. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Okay. Well, Alright, now I can justify this a little bit. You've been destroying souls this whole time? And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. All right, this guy's not innocent. All right, I can, I can do this. All right, I feel good. I feel good about it. Oh my God! Attack! Attack! One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. One more, one more. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Okay, hurry up, return me, return me. Bro, hurry up and return me. Dude, seriously? Lady, what's your problem? Lady, 
Wait, he's really out here playing way too many games. Oh my god, just return me. Oh, like, what, what is wrong with you? Why would you let them keep attacking me first, bro? Like, come on, dude. Like, do I, and do I have to, do I have to go through all of his goons first before I kill him? Do I really have to? Seriously? Like, that makes no sense, dude. Why, why, why can't I just kill him and the whole mission's over? Cause that's the whole point. Like it's over anyway. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for Yeah, 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 I have it. I'm amazing. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. I will commune with Azura. How did I even trigger this quest? I can't even remember. Goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you. Greetings, mortal. You have followed right, Azura, my hurry up. Come on, come on, up. Azura, come on, hurry up, hurry up. And rescued my star from Malin Varen. I can't skip this, okay. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged. This is all because you didn't save me. That's the only reason why we're doing this all over again. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion, but I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. All right, stop playing, is there, all right? I get it, you have a no, sense of humor. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Send me, send me in. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. No, you're not. You're not watching over me. You don't really care about me. Our disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Why? There's something different about you. And who are you to challenge me? Oh. I have come with mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. Ah! Never should have come here. See? <laughs> no, not like this. Yeah, it's just like this. Shamefully, pitifully, like a worm. Just like a worm. Look at you. Look, look at the way your back is bending. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. All right, so return me. Hurry up. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Yeah, hand it over already. Farewell, right, go mortal. Ahead, know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Uh, what, what can I do with the wait? What can I do with her star? Can I charge my weapon with it? Please tell me I can charge my weapon with it. No, I- Bro, seriously? Bro, what's the point of it then? What, what does it do? What does it do? Bro, does it do anything? Hold on a second. 
Let me let me look it up, bro, because I feel like I made the wrong choice. I should have brought it to Nelikar. Okay, so I can I just use the trap souls, that's it. Okay, so it sounds like I definitely made a mistake. I should have brought it to Nelikor. Because I'd be able to trap white souls and black souls.